Hello all, my name is Sunan Sharma from Career Stock, and in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to answer uncomfortable situational and scenario based interview questions. Situational type interview questions assess what you will do in a given situation. And if you watch this tutorial from beginning to end, I will tell you the best way to answer these type of tough interview questions. To help you achieve that, this is I am going to cover. I will give you an explanation of what are situational scenario based interview questions along with difference between behavioral and situational questions and how to answer them correctly because there is a correct way to answer them. I will also give you a list of common job scenario based interview questions. I will give you suggested top scoring answers to help you pass your own job interview. So three very good reason why you should watch this video from beginning to end. Before I get into the tutorial, a very quick warm welcome from myself. My name is Sunan Sharma. That's me in the center of the screen. I'm agile consultant and I have helping people for the last two years to successfully pass their interviews. And I always do that by giving you top scoring great answers you can't find anywhere else. On that basis, please make sure you subscribe by clicking the button below the video and then you won't miss out on any of the weekly videos I am uploading. You can connect me on LinkedIn if you want. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. I would also appreciate your support if you gave the video a like. Please hit that like button because that tells me you enjoy the content and I will create more for you. Thank you very much. What are situational interview questions? Situational questions require you to provide an in-depth answer about a theoretical situation that you could face in the job that you are applying for. For interviewer, this is a perfect way to assess whether or not you possess the right skills, abilities, and experience to handle the situation. While behavioral interview questions require you to reflect on past work experience, situational questions require you to explain how you would approach and handle work-related scenarios. Situational questions require more from you than just a simple yes or no in your answer. In your answer, you need to go in depth into how you would go about handling a situation in a professional work environment. For interviewer, this is a perfect way to analyze and gauge your thought process. Further, it allows them to draw a conclusion on how you solve problems, how you handle challenges, and in which work environment you thrive. Situational question about critical thinking skills. What would you do when a client contacts you about a complaint? I'm a strong believer in the motto that the customer is always right. For me, the slogan means that client satisfaction is always the highest priority. Through my experience working with different types of clients, I have learned not to take their comments or complaints personally. There are a couple of steps that I take to diffuse the situation and work towards a solution. I start by listening thoroughly to understand the customer's pain point, listening to a client's whole story and staying judgment free is essential to efficiently find an agreeable solution. During the whole conversation, I stay present and calm to make sure I understand everything clearly. I paraphrase and repeat back what I have heard the customer say. This way, I make sure I get an accurate understanding of their complaint. Once their complaint is fully clear, I start working towards a plan of action. Depending on the specific complaint, I always try to take immediate action to give the customer a sense of satisfaction. I always make sure that I handle their complaint in a polite, efficient, and a diplomatic way. If there is a protocol or a company policy in place, I act accordingly and try to offer a client two or three possible solutions 
to evoke their feeling of control over the outcome. If there is no policy or the policy solutions don't apply, I make sure I discuss the case with a superior and ensure the client that they will hear from me that same day. This usually helps diffuse the situation and let them know I am working on finding a solution as soon as possible. What interviewer look for in your answer? It's important that you show that you have a process when you are required to use your critical thinking ability. The interviewer is interested in how you react when something goes wrong or when a client has a complaint. Also, they want to see if you take responsibility for situations without asking somebody else to solve it for you. They are interested in whether or not you understand who your clients are, what their needs are, and how the products or services of your organization meets that specific need. Situational question about decision-making skills. Tell me about a time you had a difficulties working with a manager. For me personally, it all starts with gathering the right information and analyzing the amount of time I have to make a decision. These two elements are the most important factor I consider to substantiate my decision. Sometimes it's a decision needs to be made under time pressure, even if all the required information can't be gathered. In these cases, I weigh information versus time. Next, I analyze the possible outcomes and which result I will most likely get from a decision. Furthermore, I always take into account what the best choice for my team, colleagues and organization in general with the facts available at that time. What interviewer looks for in your answer? It's important that you show that you have a systematic approach to making important decisions. Your goal is to demonstrate that you have a process you follow in order to come to a sound decision. Interviewer look for you to demonstrate that you take responsibility and if you are consistent, which means that you have checked your facts before you act. Furthermore, interviewer wants to assess whether or not you can keep your emotions out of your decision making process in order to make a sound decision. Situational question about communication skill. How do you communicate when you need to solve a conflict? From my experience, solving and managing conflicts is about showing empathy and understanding of the perspectives of other people. This is the first step I take in resolving almost any conflict situation at work. Actively listening to what others have to say and reading their body language is essential as well. Whenever I encounter a conflict, I try to get an understanding of the situation from other people's point of view as well. This makes it easier for me to come up with efficient and effective solutions and consult with them as to what of these solutions meet their needs in that particular situation. What interviewer look for in your answer? Interviewers look for you to demonstrate that you possess listening skills, empathy, and friendliness. Furthermore, they want to see what your nonverbal communication is, how confident you are in your communication, and how you establish a relationship that's based on mutual respect. Situational question about problem solving skills. If you face a complex problem at work, what steps do you take to identify and resolve it? Usually when I face a complex problem, I start by doing research and analysis. Being able to identify the cause of the issue and understanding it fully is essential, especially when time is a factor. Depending on the complexity of the issue, I might ask team members for a brainstorming session and consulting more experienced co-workers. Based on the outcome, I start analyzing the situation. My analytical skills and experience help me develop effective and efficient solutions. Further, through analyzing a problem thoroughly, I make a distinction between effective and ineffective solutions. 
Next, a decision needs to be made to solve the problem. As stated, depending on the complexity, these decisions can be made fast. However, sometimes problems take some time to craft a solution or require someone with more knowledge or experience to have a look at it too. I am a firm believer in teamwork when it comes to making efficient and effective solutions. What interviewer look for in your answer? Interviewer wants to hear from you how you go about solving problems. Therefore, make sure that you can explain your thought process when you encounter a problem. Further, be specific about the actions you take. As you can see in the example answer, this is not that difficult, but you need to prepare an answer in advance. Situational question about organizational and prioritization skills. How do you organize and plan your work? What steps do you usually take? For me, organizing and prioritizing become a habit that turn into a daily workday routine. It's all start with taking basic steps to make sure I stay on track on the projects that I'm working on to ensure that I meet set deadlines. First, when I create an organizational plan, I identify the goals that I need to meet. I list the tasks needed to reach my goals and note how long each will take to accomplish while separating short and long term targets. Once I determined my goals, I create a to do list. I use this list to establish how each of the described tasks can be completed. Larger tasks are split into smaller tasks so that I can take on daily. Next, I prioritize each task on my to do list. I analyze the most important tasks with upcoming deadlines and put them on top of the list. Once I did this, I put the task into a time schedule so I know exactly when to complete each one. This helped me to get a clear overview of what needs to be done, which I can communicate with my colleagues and team members so that they are up to date as well. At the end of the day, I make sure I clean my desk and work area so that I can start fresh again in the morning. I organize the documents and items on my desk on importance so that I can immediately start where I left of the day before. What interviewer look for in your answer? Interviewers are interested in how you go about organizing and prioritizing. They want to know if you are an organized person and if you have an effective system in place that help you to get your work done. It's a smart idea to bring up an example that truly demonstrates you using the skills required for the position. Tell the interviewer about a time you successfully organized an important project. Situational question about leadership and management skills. How would you go about delegating tasks to subordinates? I have successfully led teams and projects that had strict deadlines. For instance, in my previous job as a project manager, I managed a team that worked on interdepartmental projects with different timelines. The key to effective leadership for me is maintaining open and clear communication lines delegating tasks and keeping track of each project independently. By coaching and mentoring my team members, I try to help them develop themselves as professionals. This way, they can gradually take up more responsibilities, which is important when you are working on multiple projects with different deadlines. I prioritize my time in advance to make sure that I'm able to keep up with each project. Communication plays a major role in this. I believe in clear communication within teams and everybody should update each other during weekly stand-up meetings. These meetings allow me to adjust accordingly when needed. This way I ensure that my team stay on track. What interviewer look for in your answer? Interviewers want to hear from you how you led and manage. Your answer should uncover specific details of your leadership, behavior, and potential. Therefore, ensure that you can explain your approach to leading and managing projects and teams. When discussing your leadership and management skills, it is a good idea to justify your answer with an example that truly demonstrates you using the skills that are relevant for the job. Explain the interviewer about a time 
you, for example, successfully led and manage a project. Friends, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button because that tells me you enjoy the content and I will therefore create more for you. Thank you very much for watching. I wish all the best for passing your job interview. Have a nice day. Please wait for part two of this video. Thanks.